my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. So today will be an official pantry tour video. I'm showing you my entire pantry today. So I'm not going to talk too much in this intro. I'm just going to hop straight into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm just going to start right here in this area and this area is off to the side of the shelves. So what I have in here are different things like the all just gravy seasoning mix. I have my brown gravies and everything like that in there and the next shelf is my taco seasoning so this is just a great value brand as well as um the old el paso and taco bell brand down here is my overflow of my seasoning so i just wanted to kind of keep them more organized and just all in a container and so i just have these two containers right here off to the side i have the hidden valley dry packet so i have a few boxes of those then I also have the McCormick Slow Cooker Variety Pack, which has the, um, the pulled pork and the hearty beef stew mix. Right here is really random. They're just the Velveeta. I really don't have anywhere to keep these. I kind of just want them off to the side, but I don't want to put them in the pantry. So um, yeah, I just stuck them right here. Going down are more seasoning. So I just have this little Lazy Susan that I wanted to add um, that add extra seasonings that I didn't have room for like in the pantry and the cabinets and that's just like the red pepper crushed red pepper and then here is um let's see like the Himalayan pink salt the chicken bouillon parmesan cheese adobo moving along down here here's overflow of mustard ketchup and mayonnaise as well as like my salt and iodized salt. I hauled these like more, more recently, like the plain salt, the iodized, and then the kosher salt. Also have some canning salt right here. Moving down to the next shelf, I have aloe vera, and this is where I like to keep my white vinegar. So I just have a couple of different brands. I have the Great Value brand, as well as the White House. Back there, I have the apple cider vinegar, and then I have a smaller one, this apple cider vinegar that's unfiltered. And then right here, I just kind of have like the overflow of like my, my sauces. So not the best spot to keep them y'all on the floor right beside everything, but for now, this is where I'm keeping them. So right here on the side of the first shelving unit, y'all, I just have my canola oils, my olive oil, vegetable oil. And then I have my different kinds of salad dressings. So I have my classic ranch, Caesar. Um, this is more Caesar, a different brand. And then the Italian. I have my barbecue sauces right here, Sticky Fingers, Kraft, and then the Frank's Red Hot. And then down here, I have my different kind of dipping sauces. And these came from Walmart. Right below that, I have the... Um, the Hunt's ketchup, and then I think I have the Heinz. The Heinz is, I think it's a hot and spicy. So I have a few bottles of those. And then on the very bottom, sorry for the close up y'all, but it's just the angle that it's at, um, I have the mustard. So at the very top of the shelf, I just have a couple of different things. It's kind of like another storage area. So I just have like my food prep storage um, containers. I have sweet tea packets. These are cups that I found on clearance at Walmart several months ago, and they were like 25 cent per pack. So I just stacked up or racked up on those as well as the bowls. Here are the paper plates because in my household, we use paper plates. We had more. I need to actually stock up on more because we've gone through the stack that I had. And then up here at the very top, you'll see facial tissue. So both of the boxes at the top came from Sam's and this box also came from Sam's as well. Now that I think about it. Then this is where I like to keep all of my like pantry staples and items that I use in my kitchen. So these containers came from Walmart and it keeps the grits, my jasmine rice, all purpose flour, self rising flour. I have my sugar in here and then cornmeal. And then up here are just a couple of different boxes of the stevia and monk fruit. And they're just like the little individual packets. I got those when I used to coupon. So um, I got this for free and that's why I have them. On um, this shelf is where I keep my chicken broth, my chicken stock, but the beef broth. And then I like to keep my cream of chicken here as well. So these are all like different brands, but most of these that you're looking at came from Walmart. 
And then right here, I like to keep my cream of mushroom soup. And again, it's a mix of just the name brand and then the Walmart brand. Right here, I have like all of my soups. I do have my soups in another area, but a lot of them are right here. So I just have the Healthy Choice brand and then the Campbell's Chunky. And of course, I have the Progresso. So when it comes to soups, y'all, I will not be buying a whole lot of soups probably from here on out just because I want to learn how to make my own homemade soup and then can that. So I'm just, I think I'm pretty content with soup. I might buy a few more, but I think I'm pretty much all set. So right here on this shelf is where I like to keep all of the chili beans. And I do have a couple of different brands. You'll see the Wolf brand chili and that's with the Angus beef. Then I also have the Wolf brand, just the regular traditional chili beans with um, oh, chili beans. Then I have the Armour chili beans and um, I have those, they go kind of far back. And then down here I have the Beanie Weenie. So these are just your beans and franks and um, it's the Van Camps brand. Right here are the Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. So I only have one child in the house that eats the Chef Boyardee brand. So all of these are for her and there's a couple of them that go back. And then I'll also have the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. And again, this is all the chicken noodle soup I will purchase um, just because again, I'm going to start making my own. Right here, you'll find the Bear, the Bear Creek Cheddar Broccoli, Broccoli and Cheddar Soup. Again, another item that I'm going to learn how to make homemade. I have about four of those. And then right here, I have my Quick Oats, y'all. And they go, I think I have a total of about three of those. And I have them right here in this odd spot just because I don't have anywhere else to put those. These will be transferred into mason jars um, for long-term food storage. And then right here, I have my Velveeta Fresh Packs. This is a pack of five. And then the regular original Velveeta that comes like in a whole block. Okay, you guys. So this is most of my pasta. It's mostly spaghetti. Of course, you'll see this box right here. That is a mix that I got from Sam. So it has the elbow noodles, spaghetti, and the penne. And then right here, you'll see more spaghetti. And then you'll see the penne. So I have already... Um, put my elbows in a mylar in the mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. I'll show you guys those in just a minute. So this is also going to go into long-term food storage with the exception of like one or two boxes that I'll keep, but I'll still transfer those into um, different containers. This will go into mylar bags. Right here is more of the great value brand, macaroni and beef, spaghetti and meatballs. And then I have the name brand, Chef RD spaghetti and meatballs. Again, this is for my daughter. All of this is hers because she's the only one that eats this in the house. So definitely wanted to make sure that she was stocked up on it. Um, and I'll take that back. I'll eat a, a can of SpaghettiOs, y'all. From time to time, I'll have a taste for them and I'll make, you know, crack them open, add salt and pepper, and, you know, nuke them in the microwave. But this is basically her shelf at this point. And right here, we have the spaghetti and meatballs for her. I picked up this large box from um, Sam's. So right here on the bottom shelf is my long-term food storage that I started. This is my jasmine rice, and they're all in the um, half-gallon jars. And that's more jasmine rice. Then I have my sugar. I only have a couple of jars of sugar. Um, I do have another bag that I need to transfer into, um, into the jars. And I think the other day I actually stored one bag of sugar that I had in a five gallon bucket. So this is just excess elbow noodles, penne, and everything that I'm still gonna transfer over into these bags right here, which brings me to the Mylar bag, y'all. So, as you can see, I have a problem. This is spaghetti that I did last weekend, and the oxygen absorbers did not work. I am not sure what I did, but I have several packages that I have checked on, and they have not sealed at all. And there are a couple of my elbow noodles that did not seal at all either. So, as you can see, it's just squishy like that. But then the one behind it, it did seal correctly. So I'm not sure. I feel like it's something that I did. I'm not sure why. I mean, my seals look okay. Maybe somebody who has been doing this longer than me can let me know. Do these seals look okay? Um, because I have several more back here that did not seal. So I'm going to have to redo all of these. 
So moving along to my next shelf, um, this is another storage area. So I have a limited amount of space in my house, y'all. That's why I always say I try to utilize every bit of space. So with the shelving units, that allows me to do so. So these are just the tin foil um, like containers that you use to store food in as well as the lids. Then I have more of the aluminum foil. These are just the pop-up sheets. I have a pack of straws right there and then a pack of forks. So right here, you can see tons of the oodles and noodles, y'all. That's what I call them. I know a lot of people call them ramen noodles or ramen cups, but I call them oodles and noodles. So I have lots of the chicken flavor package just because that's what my kids like to eat. I do have one package of the beef. So these right here are the individual like packets that you put on the stove. And then these right here are the cups and it's a pack of six. Moving along right here, I have my macaroni and cheese cups. Just different brands. I have the Velveeta and then I have the Kraft as well. And then to the top right, I have the Easy Mac. Um, these are like the, the little packets instead of the cups. On this shelf right here, I just have a couple of um, Hershey Kiss candy that I vacuum sealed. This is the after Christmas clearance candy that I have. So I just have a couple of those right here. And again, I vacuum sealed those with my vacuum saver or my vacuum sealer. Right here are the pasta sides. So these are full of just like the noodles as well as the rice. Right here, I have mashed potatoes. These are all the instant mashed potatoes and just different brands, y'all. I have the sour cream, just the butter, um, the roasted garlic. Right here are the family size packets, so they're much bigger. And this is full of different ones. I think these are mostly just the original brand, um, original flavor. Some, there goes the roasted garlic right there. Right here, y'all, I know this probably looks out of place. It's just different kind of crackers. So I have my Ritz crackers as well as my saltine crackers. This is kind of like the only place I had to store. Uh, store. I didn't have an extra like plastic container, so I just threw them in this little basket. And this basket, you know, if you've been here long enough, y'all, I love Dollar Tree. This little basket came from Dollar Tree. Also have one at the bottom of my pantry, my working pantry. Right here is just my um, Jiffy Cornmeal mix, and that goes, let's see, far back. It's just one huge, uh, like, pack of them, y'all. Right here, I had the Hungry Jack um, hash brown potatoes. So, these are nice because they're ready in minutes. You just add water to them, and I purchased these from Dollar Tree. Next, we have the Thin and Crispy um, Pizza Crust Mix. These came from um, Walmart, and I only have a few packets of those. I have the stove top stuffing mix. And then right here, I have a couple of like trays of the pineapple tidbits. And these came from Aldi, y'all. Aldi in my area is one of the best prices between them and Walmart to get canned goods. So, and I know somebody's going to say something about canned foods are bad for you because all the things they have, y'all, I'm very aware of that. And then I know some people may um, um, end up mentioning the BPA. Y'all, the th good thing about Aldi's is a lot of their cans are BPA free. They have the BPA free liner. So, so just make sure you look out for cans like that. Not all of them are marked, but I do notice that they have a lot of cans, at least in my local store, that are BPA-free. Moving along to the applesauce, just a couple of different brands. I have the Mott's, this is no sugar added, and then I have the apple cinnamon, and that's what that looks like. And then I have my fruit. This is the dough. So this is a little bit on the pricey side. But I told you guys before I was having a hard time finding the tropical fruit. And then I just like their pineapple chunks. That's before I went to Aldi and got their pineapple chunks. And then right here, I have the great value applesauce. These are the item, y'all, that I cannot keep in my house. My kids go through these great value applesauce cups. So I buy several of these at a time. And these are all that I have in my house right now, besides like the four that I have in the working pantry. And so that's what that area looks like. Moving along to the next shelf, I have some fruit cocktail. Again, this was purchased from Aldi. So I just got a couple of little, what do you call these? I don't want to call them pallets, but a couple of different trays. And I believe this is in 100% fruit juice. Next, I have the mandarin oranges. Again, all of these right here, the Sweet Harvest brand, come from Aldi. So these are the ones with the BPA-free liner as well. 
Then I have my peaches in heavy syrup. Just got three of those. And then right here, this is an item that I hauled a couple of weeks ago. It's the Lux fried apples with cinnamon and then the regular fried apples. I only have four cans of those right now. I still have not opened those, but once I open them and realize, you know, know that we like them for sure, I'll definitely go back and pick up more. Then I have both the Aldi brand and the uh, Walmart brand uh, pair. So the Aldi brand is in heavy syrup and then this is no sugar added for the Walmart. And then this one is in light syrup. Next, I have Angel Mama. So the Angel Mama will also be transferred. I just have it on the shelf right now. It has already been in the freezer and taken out and everything. So I'm not worried about little critters or anything, but I still need to get it transferred sooner rather than later. Um, so these are the large boxes purchased from Walmart. And those are like five pound boxes. And then I have this little tiny box right here. So right here, I have my corn and um, I just have a few pallets of those. I have the green beans and then I also have the French style green beans and I also have more veggies in the house y'all I think I have more veggies in the house than anything and then I have the mashed potatoes or not mashed potatoes whole potatoes y'all whole potatoes and then I'll have the y'all have to ignore that I'm trying to keep it out of the way when I film but it wants to keep on closing um this is just the Hunt's Diced Tomatoes, and this is an eight pack that I purchased from Sam's. I have more green beans down here, just um, two packs of eight also purchased from Sam's. So I got these um, in some of my first few hauls when I was new to prepping. Green beans in my area at least were very hard to find. So anytime I saw them, I wanted to pick those up because I love both green beans and French style green beans, as well as corn. They're like my favorite veggies. Oh, and collards. So right here on the bottom shelf is where I like to keep the shelf stable milk. So I have the Gossler brand 2% milk as well as the whole milk. And then I have my little goat milk, y'all. Um, If you're new here, I have problems with milk. So I actually was just tested yesterday. I had blood work drawn to see exactly what the issue is with milk. So, um, or if I have some kind of issue with milk, should I say. So my test results should be in within the next couple of days. But y'all, I love milk. So um, I've been trying to try different milks. Almond milk, I noticed that it doesn't mess with me like this milk right here does. Um, or, you know, regular milk that you buy in the jug and put in the refrigerator. So I'm not saying it's Gossler milk, y'all, by, by no means. I'm just saying milk in general. general. So I got the whole milk, I mean the goat milk. That's the only one that I have. And then right here, I have the almond milk. This is also from Dollar Tree. This is unsweetened. And again, I just have a couple of different brands. So this shelf right here, I consider to be like the baking shelf as well as like the kid shelf, the junk shelf, just whatever you want to call it. I feel like it's just the junk shelf where we keep all our snacks and good stuff like that. So up here, you'll see the kid cereal. I hauled a lot of these cereals recently. So a lot of these will be transferred over into Mylar bags and just um, more for long-term food storage. I know you can't keep them a, a long time. I need to do more in-depth research as far as how long they last once transferred. So yeah, this is kind of where I'm just keeping those. And I have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Note Cheerios, Star Wars, Count Chocula, Boo Berry. I have a couple of like the Elf on the Shelf. I purchased those from Walmart after Christmas. And then the Monster Berry. So the Monster Berry, Boo Berry, Count Chocula, Star Wars all came from Dollar Tree. And then the Honey Nut Cheerios, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, all came from Food Lion. Right here on this shelf, this is where I like to keep my cake mix. So you'll just see the Betty Crocker, and I have quite a few of those. Then I have the Ghirardelli brownies, and this is just my brownie mix uh, section right here. Um, I think I have like four or five. No. Well, I think they go pretty far back so yeah that's where I like to keep those right here in this little basket right here this is from Dollar Tree as well this is where I like to cook my different cookie mixes then I have my baking powder I have several cans of those I also have my yeast and this is just random y'all I just kind of keep my little cupcake liners right here I need to pick up more of those as well and then I have my cultured buttermilk as well as my pure baking soda and I don't know, I have quite a few of those. Right here is, again, like I said, this is my baking shelf. So I have um, my shortening right here. And then I have 
pure vanilla extract as well as the Hershey cocoa. And then I have like my different kind of cake frostings and um, everything like that back there on both of these sides, I think are full of just like the frosting. And then of course I have my Jet Puff Marshmallow Creams right here and I have several of those going back. So now we're getting to the good stuff right here. These are the Minions Cookies. I hauled these a while back from Dollar Tree. So I have several boxes of those. Then I have a couple of boxes of the Honey Made Graham Crackers. I have the Nutrigrain, y'all. This is gonna drive me crazy. One of the kids got into it and I actually think my youngest son got into it somehow. I don't know how, but yeah, he got into it and the box is about to drive me crazy. So I might have to do something like that, but those are just the Nutrigrain bars. Then I have the Nature Valley Crunchy bars and these are just the granola bars. I hauled these a couple of weeks ago from Food Line. They were a really good deal. They were 99 cent for each box. So I have several of them. And then I had the Welch's Fruit Snack. Both of these I got after Christmas. So I got these each for like $2.50 a box, y'all. I couldn't beat it. So I stacked up or, you know, stocked up on both brands. And like I said, each box was $2.50. And I think I have a few of these. I think I only have like three boxes of these left. And looks like I have two boxes of these. I have like my Jellos and Puddings. And then right here, like the cookies and the large boxes that I get from Sam's. So peanut butter blossom cookie kit and then you'll see the triple chocolate brownie mix and I still have some that I got around Christmas time just sugar cookies right here I have all of my muffin mix I know you guys were thinking like what in the world all the muffin mix the kids love muffins and they're quick snack so we just have a lot of them then I have the crusties. I hope I pronounced that right. I feel like that's the way you pronounce it, but I feel like it's, you know, I'm probably making it more difficult than it is. I have several of these mixes. So I have the blueberry, the honey cornbread, and then the cinnamon swirl. Right here, I have the cake flour. This is just the only spot I have for it right now. So that's why I have this sitting here. And then this is the kids, like the breakfast essentials. These are the drink packets. And again, there's several of them. That's the strawberry sensation. I have the vanilla. And then I have the like larger boxes that have, let's see, like 22 come in a pack and that's the chocolate. And then right here, I just have the great value instant non-fat milk. Um, these are the packets that I hauled, I think like a week or two ago. I only have one box of those because I have not tried it yet. So I don't like to stack up on things I have not tried. So right here, I have the bubble fruit. This is 16 cups. And then I have a couple of boxes of the um, chocolate pudding, the snack pack. This has already been opened and the kids, you know, got into that because, and my kids can go into this anytime they need to, y'all. It's not like they just have to deal with the working pantry. The only thing that I ask them to do is make sure that they write the item down, you know, once we're out of it or it starts running low so I can replace it. Right here is the whey protein. So I had several more, more of these, but I just have not purchased these in a couple of months. So I need to pick up more of these. I'll be picking up more this week. And I also have my brown sugar and my powdered sugar. So I will not be buying any more brown sugar after I use these two bags just because um, I can make this on my own. So I'd rather do it that way. Right here, I have cookies. The kids got into them. So they're the Chips Ahoy and then the brownie cookies. Also have peanut butter crackers. Both of these packs came together and they came from Sam's. But this is just kind of how I have them stacked right now. Um, and then right under that, you'll see popcorn. So I have a couple of boxes of popcorn, not too many. And then I have this just to have, because I think it's better. Um, it has a longer shelf life than this butter popcorn right here. So that's why I picked this up. Next, I have pretzels. And then I have this five pound package from, um, Sam's for the kids of animal crackers. And then right behind that, this is where I keep the kids. They love these little um, freeze pops, especially like in the summer, but they eat them during the winter too. So right here on this bottom shelf is where I keep like all of the drink mixes. Um, I do have the individual packets kept in another area in the house, but right here is where um, you'll see like the country time lemonade and they go, I think three or four back. And then I have the tang mixes. I have several of those. Then I have my Ovaltine, I have the Swiss Mix, and then I have more Nesquik for the kids. This right here, I have the Nido. I have like three, I think three of those right now. And then I have the Milo. 
And then this is where I like to keep my sweetened condensed sweetened condensed milk. So I think there's about six or six back there. Right here, this is another random spot, y'all. I kind of just have to stick things where I can sometimes where they fit. So this is the sugar cones. I have two boxes of those. I hauled four initially, but we've used them. Right here is the caramel um, dip that we like to use for our apples. Let's see. And I think the kids got into this. Yeah, there's like one missing. So that's that. And then right below it is where I have my carnation evaporated milk and I have several of those. And then off to this spot, this is where I keep like my actual vegetable oil when I'm cooking like fried foods and things of that nature. Y'all, I'm very aware of fried foods and the health consequences. So before anybody says anything, look, I'm aware. This is like how I, this is just the things that I like to keep in my prepper pantry. I know everybody is different, but this is what works for myself and my family. So right here, you'll see the Members Mark vegetable oil. Then I have these two came from Aldi. So it's the pure vegetable oil and then the pure canola. And I have several of those as well. Okay, so the last area is like another shelf, y'all. Again, here, I got <laughs> I got to put them where I can. So this is just like my canning stuff. That's like my canning area and my food saver. Um, and then I have like my seeds and oxygen absorbers and everything up here. Then moving along to the second shelf, I have my peanut butter that's crunchy and then the regular um, peanut butter. I have my jellies. I don't know why this random um, bottle of syrup is here, but yeah, that's there. And then my kids like these mints, so they're, they're there. Moving on to this shelf, I have my ginger ale. These are just extra boxes of cereal we have. My food savers now kept there um more soda and then this is like the juice area i'm gonna have to move some of this like the ginger ales they're gonna go outside to that area but more juice boxes and everything for the kids just a small little storage area so that's again where i keep these and these are you know right next to my kitchen table i mean my kitchen table is right here and that's that so all right so that is the end of the pantry tour i hope you guys enjoyed i hope that if you're new here you would consider subscribing to my channel i would greatly appreciate it and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon.